M0FXB. So I got my key from Mania Radio for my IC7000. So let's try and install it. We'll go start, fire up the program. It'll give us the option. I have a key and load it. Then I've saved it to my download folder. Download, double click. The register's key is loaded and will be fully active next time the program is run. Okay, so let's exit like so then we'll go we'll run it it does say operator Andreas got my call sign so everything is there now I haven't really used this program yet so you can see my icon 7000 I was hoping that this will help me use FT8 but we're gonna learn that let's see what we've got here we, I can see that we are controlling the radio let's go down a couple of frequencies see that it's changing the frequency on the radio custom key looks like we can record here let's see if we can find our memory channel so memories let's click well let's select something uh, it looks like we're in bank D our memory so we'll go D uh, 1 like I said I've never used it let's click bank A so there's nothing there Delete, transfer, all right, we'll close that one for now. Quick set here, we can store. PTT, that's interesting. Um, oh, for RTTY. All modes. PTT settings that we can do there. So let's do bank D again. I'm not seeing my memories there. It does say bank D01. Um, is there import? Save to file, import, let's try it. Let's just go start, no, that's not gonna work. Save, transfer to VFO. Duplex here. So lots you can do. Import, export, load file, save files. So you can save a file of whatever you've got. Just click save there. So have you used this program? It isn't free, you make a donation, but it, you get a free trial. Let's see if we can go back to my, what I wanted to do was go through my memory channel. So where's VFO memory? Noise blanker, split, VFO A. Yeah, that's working, VFO B. Yeah, it's definitely working. Volume, we have volume here. Yeah, that's working. Squelch, power, keep the power low, RF, band stacking, default. Now where is memories? It looks like we're going through all these different things here. Let's click them all and see if we can see any of our memory channels that are already in there. They're not really, well, we, bank D it says here, we've been using actually let's go to memory mode try now so bank d01 apparently it brings it all in live load file save file i'm not seeing anything here this is where i'm expecting to see them remap transfer save synchronize let's try that Function is available full. Oh, so you do have to. I have a key. Let's put it in and see what it does. Uh, downloads. Oh, that worked. Okay. So let's do synchronize again. Start. Oh, it's still doing that. <laughs> Maybe I have to try and. We'll exit it again. Then we'll just start. Well, the cable works great. I'll give it that. Bank E. Don't see any memories in Bank E. That's Bank D there. Try again. Synchronize. No, it still didn't. Oh, there are. There's a little countdown there. That's the only thing I'm wondering. So maybe you have to pay for that. 
Let's close it. You can hear the radio in the background sounding good. So I can't see where we can go to VFO and memory and just cycle through the memories. Here, yeah, FM split mode. Yeah, it looks like it works. Duplex, plus and minus, reverse, previous, AGC, how it signal meter. That's DB3WR, which is quite weak to me. Yeah, and when I change the radio, it is changing the software. So that's bank and memory. Hook clipboard, don't really know what that means. Bands. Set call sign. Utility, plug in, on air, info. Now I had ran a program called. I think this is it here. Cat interface. And then I was going to have a go FTA. So I think we'll do that in a separate video. But thanks for watching for now. Learning as we go along. Bye for now.